Now, one tip to get started, which courses are absolutely life-changing, how to quit your job and earn money online, full-time with social media marketing, coming up. Hi right, guys, so here I am, uh, interview with Quentin Chad, we just spoke about it, it's not Quentin, it's Quentin. Um, well, do you want to introduce yourself, like for those of you that don't know who you are, can you just explain like, what, yeah. who you are and what you do? Yeah, so I'll keep this short because I'm a guy that can talk for hours and not sh shut the hell up. Uh -huh. <laughs> you swear on your channel, right? If I let a few... Yeah, yeah, things. just go away, come on. Disclaimer. Swearing may happen in this video, uh, but yeah, I'm uh, I'm gonna just call myself 18 because I or 19 because I turned 19 in about two weeks. Uh, I'm an entrepreneur. I hate that term, but I technically am. Uh, my main thing that I'm doing right now is social media marketing. Uh, but my main focus within social media marketing is branding and actually building brands, opposed to just like the easy Facebook and the social media management. That's my main focus, uh, and my ultimate goal is to help over 100 people this year and the way i'm doing that is by spreading positivity and just trying to teach people that whatever they want whatever they love they can make a business out of it uh and just go from there i'm gonna just leave it there because like i said i can just keep on talking about it yeah that's that's so funny you you've, you've actually said that because my next question was going to be you know i seen on your like your, your bio on instagram is that you're going to help 100 people and how are you going to do that but yeah, yeah, that's really good. That, and I can touch base on that if, if you want. Yeah, go on if you want, if you want to explain more about yeah. it. So basically, when I started this whole thing, uh, quick little story, I started back in October of 2017. Long story short, I was dead broke, went on Google, how the hell do I make money online? <laughs> Came to a whole bunch of stuff, found this whole social media, online marketing, digital marketing, whatever you want to call it, basically what we both do. That's sort of what I found. Uh, and then within that, I found personal branding, which if no one has, everyone has a personal brand, it's just your level of going into it. But when I was doing that, I, um, all I was chasing was the money. I was like, you can make a hundred thousand a year doing this. You can make a million a year doing this. Like that's what I was attracted to. I was doing that up until about December and I was hating it. I was absolutely hating it mm -hmm. because I was chasing the money and the money was like, I was chasing it, but it kept getting further and further away. Yeah. But as soon as I just woke up, I just like, it was mid December. I kind of just woke up and I was like, fuck this. I want to help people. That's always been in and around what I've done. People tell me like, they like always saw that I like to help people, but now I'm actually like enforcing helping people and sharing it. So that's just my number one goal because I, there's a lot of shitty people in this world, long story short. And I, I just want to make a change and help over a hundred people this year and not like sending someone a message. Oh, you made my day. Like actually changing a hundred people's lives. So this the the amount of people that I've helped this year, it's only about like six or seven this year. Um, but I know everything like in business, it's gonna get expert that shows like keep on growing. So it's a good start, and that's that's my number one goal. I don't care how much money I make. It's helping a hundred people this year. Definitely, yeah, love it. And to be honest, like even though you've only helped six people this year, you know that's probably six more people than like. A lot of other people are going to help you know what i mean yeah I, and that's the way i look at it because obviously they need help because they haven't got helped in another way yeah so my whole thing is that i need to be the person i know i can't help everyone at least right now i plan on helping every single person in the world eventually but right now it's a start and like i said those six people that's six people's lives who i can change and the way i like to promote myself and what i like to do if i help you if i changed your life you better change someone else's life too. So it's carrying that. It's basically like it's just going to keep on feeding. So everyone's going to be helping, and it's actually going to be the change and actually actually help people. Yeah, love it. Absolutely love it. And uh, like like big news on your end is that you've actually quit your job. Uh, what was it like a week back? Do you mind like? Uh, it's about like two weeks now. I would yeah, like two weeks. I think. Yeah, yeah. I would say two weeks. I don't want to look at the calendar, but yeah. <laughs> so how did you, how did you go about doing that? Basically, uh, I almost made a super rash decision. I'm a kind of guy that if I have an idea, I just go for it. Uh, I get that. I, I feel like I present that vibe just the way I present myself and my energy that if I like was like, this is a great idea, like I would act on it tonight. Basically, I was like in Toronto. I was on the go train. I was taking photos like trainers, like the tube that you wait. Do you have the tube or is that just in London? No, yeah, we, we have the tube as well, yeah. 
Okay, yeah. So we had like the equivalent of there. I was just downtown. I was living like um like a mini vacation. I was like, I love this. I was gonna go home, sell my car, quit my job, and travel to like Thailand or some shit, or move to like somewhere else. Like had no idea where. Basically, was like pause. Bad idea. Great idea to quit my job so I can go full force with my business because I kind of hit a, a stopping point. I yeah. I was going like this, but then I just was flatlined. I just was going nowhere. Um, so I knew I had to uh, make the change to go somewhere, talk to some people, got some guidance, realized, you know what, it's just a good idea. Just quit your job. Don't do anything else irrational. <laughs> live in my mom's basement right now. Live a broke life till I build up my business. Uh, but the way I went about it was honestly, it was Sunday night at like four o'clock and I made the decision by like 9 p.m., went into work the next day, finished my shift and I was like, peace out. Yeah, that's amazing. Just like that. Yeah. Yeah. But you actually you were able to do that because like your business is thriving at the moment. It's it's going good, isn't it? I wasn't thriving, but I'm the kind of guy, like I said, when I believe in something, I, I go for it. I believe in what I'm doing, and I knew that for me to actually go anywhere with it, I had to put my effort into it because I'd come home after work. I'd work at like six in the morning. I'd come home at three. When I you have a business to run, when you have a life, when you're just dead tired. Like it's kind of tough. So I had to take the leap. I had enough money in my bank account that I could survive like on like nothing for like a couple months. So I went for it. And then the day I quit my job, like the day after I landed four meetings and when you land four meetings with social media marketing, even at the low end, that's worth like two grand right there. Yeah. Right. Exactly. From that I've landed, I don't know, I'm not going to go too in depth, but I I landed, um, uh, Two two trials that uh, like are starting like finalizing them as of today, which could bring in uh, three grand a month with two people. Yeah, that's great. That's amazing. Just like that, just by pulling the trigger. Yeah, love it. And um, like obviously you know quite well about social media marketing and like you're quite experienced in it. Uh, like how did you how did you get started? Like how how did you like get all the knowledge basically? Honestly. The best, pe- I'm, I'm going to hit someone, with, they're going to hit they're hit your viewers with some advice there. Go on Google, go on YouTube, search up, watch every single YouTube video. You produce content. I produce content. We're not the only two people. There's literally thousands of other people. A lot of it's recycled information. Like I could say something that you've already said, but when you hear this thing over and over and over again, you will become an expert. You can become an expert within social media marketing within a month, no problem at all. Like, would you agree with some, like, a, that's a strong statement, but I completely believe in it. Yeah, so do I, like, nowadays, I call that YouTube University, there's, there's so it much is. you can... It's free. Exactly, yeah, definitely. Um, so, have you, uh, go on, yeah, go on. I, like that's how I started because I said back in October I was dead broke. I was looking at a whole bunch of different stuff, but as soon as I dedicated just watching video after video, it got to the point where um, after about like a month of doing it, someone asked me was like it was a photographer who like was a business owner that I knew, but I wasn't a business yet. Um, and he asked me he's like, "Do you understand this whole social media thing?" And I was like, uh, "Yeah, I do. Uh, I'm an expert in it, sort of thing." I just said that, and I ended up getting my first gig after a month of watching YouTube videos. It was just like I made like three hundred dollars off of it, but it was like nothing crazy. Yeah, but. When you think it's not a month of learning is not worth three hundred dollars, but that was the start, and it's not like you just do it for a month. And then yeah. after that, invested in uh, a couple courses to further advance. But then after you watch like YouTube videos and you get a course or two, get a coach. Get a coach because a coach is going to fix your specific problem in your business um, and help you further like further advance what you're doing. Because like you like I said, you can learn all of this in a month. But then now, how can you scale it so you can make a seven-figure business, not just a hundred thousand this year? How can you make an eight-figure business? A coach would bring you there. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, like, basically, so you start off with YouTube, so free information, and then yeah. once you got like the foundation, then you went on to to courses. Is there because any? Because I knew I was interested. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So first, you sort of like put your toe in the water, and then yeah. Yeah, exactly. And then you put then you put your ankles. You're like, I've invested all this time. All right, now I'm gonna dive into the when you buy a course chances are you're spending at least like 500 yeah that's when you, you put your head under water and if you come back up you you, you made the right decision yeah is that there was an allergy <laughs> any specific courses you're doing at the moment or so any any course that you recommend yep um oh shit Let's see what did i say about dropping <laughs> oh, yeah. like shit just started falling on my desk and i didn't even press anything <laughs> um okay so um 
two main courses that I would recommend everyone do. Um, Bradley Riley's course, you've taken it. Yeah. Uh, I, I just got into it uh, like a week ago, something like that. I don't, I don't remember dates like that, um, but I got it. Awesome. Not just because of it being on a different platform, but Bradley is that Bradley Riley, right? Yeah. I, I was I just call him Brad, but yeah. So yeah, Brad, his course, awesome. Not just because he showed you how to do it through Upwork or anything like that, but he's very knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. Just because his business isn't like his is virtual only through the computer, he's so knowledgeable within business. That's a course I would definitely recommend. What I think it's like five hundred um pounds but i know if he's a nice guy you message him if you're from the u.s he would hook it up for you for like 500 us like yeah good guy that's something i would recommend um i'd also recommend iman godzi's um six-figure smma um yeah. strictly because he doesn't teach you everything but he gives you like it's not a course full of information but it's a course that gives you a roadmap and actually shows you to get started because the first course i took was um um, Ty Lopez's um, social media marketing, something along those lines. It was like his first course that he dropped. He yeah. provided so much freaking information. I had no idea what to do with it. Exactly. But as yeah. soon as I took, yeah, like there was honestly so much. Like he was talking about like doing like email marketing, how to already scale to like seven figures. And I'm like, dude, I don't even have a client yet. <laughs> exactly. Like, yeah. But and then I was like, but then Imam was like straight to the point. He's like, look, you know your information. Do content creation, Facebook ads, and social media management. There's your six-figure business right there, which could scale to seven figures. But just starting with uh, starting with Ty Lopez is suck. But after implementing it with the other two courses, I can say I'm very, very skilled in this. Yeah, love it. I definitely agree with what you said. Where um, like the way Brad Riley's courses, like, because obviously he's he's done so many other courses himself, so he he knows so much about the topic social Coaching. media. Yeah. And I just and he's learned from the best of the best with coaching. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right yeah, 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 yeah. And definitely, like, uh, I do highly recommend Brad Valley's course as well because it's just the way he explains it. It's it's like he, from start to finish, he just explains exactly how to do it. And if you just do exactly what he says, and they like, don't think anything else, don't do anything else, yeah. just do what he says, you'll get clients. Yeah. Like yeah. with you, because I'm approaching my marketing agency a different way right now, but I'm implementing that within the next couple. I want to say by like next week, like a week today, um, I want to actually be able to do it. I want to finish the course. But what you said, I know you have one Upwork client currently, or is it more than one right now? No, yeah, one, one. One? How soon did you get that after like taking the, like what was the time frame? Just because I believe in this course, like I'll plug the shit out of this course and I'm not even finished it. I'm only like 30% through, but I got my money's worth. So like, what's the timeline so you can share to your audience that they need to invest in themselves? Yeah. Um, so for the, I, I took the course like for, like for seven days and then I actually, I didn't, I didn't take action basically. I was just sort of like you know, just taking notes. Yeah. yeah. And then it took me seven days from actually, actually taking action to getting the first client. And what's that client worth to you right now a month? A month that's six hundred a month, six hundred dollars a month. U.S. Yeah. Or are you uh, in your currency? No, in US, US. So that's U.S. So that's oh, that's less for you, isn't it? Yeah, it is less. Uh, yeah. Okay, so for if that was in Canada, bam, that's about eight hundred Canadian right there. But either way, so that's just doing it with one. I know you have local clients too, but yeah. If you tackled that for a month straight, you went to, I'm not going to share any of your strategies, but if you followed the strategies that work, and I know they do, yeah, you could quit your job in that month, hands down. Definitely, yeah. If you really, really, really yeah, definitely. Yeah. Couldn't same thing like, sorry, go ahead. No, I was going to say I couldn't agree more what you're going to say. Yeah. So. And same thing with like Iman's course. I'm, I'm going to talk about this for like 10 more seconds, basically. As soon as I, I had all this information, but as soon as I quit my job, I basically press played from the information he taught me. Did my cold calls for meetings landed on my first day of cold calling and I wasn't even supposed to make the cold calls and now I fell in love with it. But that's, that's something else, but just taking action and just fucking do it, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, couldn't agree to more. say the least. Yeah. Okay. So lightning round before we wrap this up. Um, well, that, lightning round. Okay. Favorite book and why? The ultra mind solution currently. Um, Dr. Hyman, it's upstairs. Doc, I think it's by something Hyman. Um, the Ultra Mind Solution. Search it up. Amazing book. And you said the other part of the question was why? Yeah. Why? Oh, honestly, because it revamped my whole thing. Because in short, if your body's healthy but your brain's not healthy, then your body's not fully healthy, and vice versa. So they're interconnected. No matter how you look at it, and it goes in depth. Like 
like not don't take modern medication when they just throw you a shit ton of pills mm -hmm. you change your life even if you take like a, a magnesium vitamin that can yeah. completely change your life and after reading the book i've actually been vegetarian for about um four days now uh and already just seen amazing results my brain like i'm on like i took like a three and a half hour sleep and then a 20 minute nap and i'm like fired up right now i'm sure like you're feeling this energy yeah uh, so that that's that's my favorite book yeah that was more than a lightning round. sorry <laughs> <laughs> interesting though no, no, nonetheless um have you got a strange sorry, habit sorry, to touch on that? it's not like a regular entrepreneur book where you can do like think and grow rich or yeah. you can't even see that but like think and grow rich or like a tony robbins book but like as an entrepreneur as a business owner as like that your body is just as important as your business yeah sorry to interrupt no no worries uh have you got like a strange habit or something that you you always do Ooh, strange habit. I have a bad habit of biting my fingernails, which is really bad. Um, but I would say, hmm, this is a self evaluation here. Um, <laughs> I would actually, a bad habit, in all honesty, sometimes, because if I remember how I said at the beginning, if I want to do something, I act on it then and there. Yeah. Sometimes that's very detrimental because I have other shit that needs to be done, but I get so caught up in an idea that like if the work, work that needs to be done today to like pay the bills, sometimes it does not get done. So that, that's one of my worst habits. Oh, that's relatable. Very relatable there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, everyone does it, but like even just owning up to it, like I, I realized it, but even just saying it, it's like, shit, I got to stop that. So <laughs> thank you for asking that. <laughs> okay. Best purchase you've made this year. I don't want to plug another course, so I'm not going to say that. Um, but best, honestly, the mastermind event I went to um, this past weekend. Um, if you want to, I'll send you the link. Like, if you want to share that, uh, just nearby, because like people need to see it. I talk about just the importance of like networking. But basically, we I stayed with like eleven other entrepreneurs, local. Uh, some came from Montreal, some came from New York, so not even local. A, a lot from Toronto. We stayed in this Airbnb, two story penthouse lived the life but we didn't party and shit like that all we did was work but it was such a great environment it only cost me about like three hundred dollars i spent like two hundred dollars in food but that was like honestly the best five hundred dollars i spent in two days yeah like up my life in, in all honesty it's game changing yeah love it yes i've seen the like the videos and the posts and all that i was gonna ask you about that as well okay so last yeah. question before we wrap it up uh if there's like have you got any tips for anyone that wants to start social media marketing we're specifically social media marketing. Yeah. Approach your local restaurant. Okay. First, watch YouTube videos for a month, mm -hmm. a week, whatever you have to do. Go until you're like, understand what business manager is. You know what a Facebook pixel is and you know what a Facebook ad is. And then you're good. You know more than the business owner. Go to your local restaurant. Go to the mom and pop shop. Go to your local flower shop. Whatever the hell it is. Go there. Walk up to the business owner. Or, hey, can I speak to the business owner? I can bring them more clients. They're going to say yes. Work for free. Work for free. Bring them the results. Get that testimonial. Build your business from there. And then just start charging yourself. Start 250 a month. Then 500 a month. Then 750. Then 1,000 upwards until you know some people. Like, I know Jeremy Haynes, um, off topic, but he has like a million dollar advertising budget. So if he has that much in advertising budget, his monthly fee is way more than $5,000. Yeah, so definitely. So just start for free. Yeah. work for free love it that is great advice and guys with that we're going to wrap this up i am going to link all of quinton's uh, socials and and all stuff like that in the description box down below as along with his youtube channel so make sure you subscribe to his channel for more content and i'll see you guys soon let's uh sorry Tim, let's link the courses as well um just so people are interested um they can take a look because honest opinions here um, yeah just throw that out there good idea gonna do that as well so Course links in the description box down below as well. And see you guys soon. So guys, that's the end of the interview. Thank you so much for watching. I will leave Quentin's uh, socials in the description box down below. Highly recommend you guys check him out or subscribe to the channel or his channel at the very least because uh, he's so big on helping other people and he just provides so much value and knowledge. It's unbelievable. Like if you connect with him through like Instagram DM or anything like that, he will help you on your way. Like he's so big. It's, it's just, it's unbelievable the way like how grateful he is for what he's got and how helpful he is to other people to try and achieve uh, what they want as well. So guys, anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this video. And also let me know like if you like this type of video because I'm, I'm thinking of, of doing like videos like this more often. I've done one earlier with Brad Riley and I do like the, like the, like, 
you know, connect with like-minded individuals, people that are sort of like on the same journey as me and you know, it's just a great feeling to connect with people like that no matter like what part of the world they're from. So let me know if there's anyone in particular you'd like me to interview or like connect with and get like another little video up like that as well. Guys, subscribe to the channel for more. Make sure to like this video and thanks for watching. See you guys soon. Gotta do what I gotta do.